check out this morning sunrise just beautiful out here no wind today uh it's just a gorgeous morning out here a bunch of fish moving around already too there's one about halfway up the column there well we made it back out as the day goes on i think i'm gonna move down the shoreline and just do a bit of uh running gunning down the shoreline actually and we're just gonna see how that goes i think it'll work out well I just wanted to stop here for the quick little morning bite and uh, move on afterwards. There's a school of them here right now, looking at me. There's one. It's a bit better fish. Good start. Number one, little eater. There's tons of them down there right now. We decided to come back out this morning. Let's uh, Let's get a bunch more here. Starting off with the rattle bait this morning, we just want to see if we can get a little bit better quality fish here. There's, there's got to be a bunch here, it's just a matter of getting them to bite. There's one. A little bit better fish. Walleye came in and chased it again. That was pretty sweet. There we go. Well, this guy came in and crushed the rattle bait. I'm gonna have to uh, keep this one though. He got gilled and uh, he's bleeding pretty bad. So this one is not going back this morning. He's gonna stay here with us. There's one. Better fish. He came in and charged at it. Crushed it actually. I actually was jigging up and I bumped him and he darted away and then he got pissed off at it and came back and uh, crushed it. That's a better one. This one's a lot nicer. He uh, was super aggressive. Like like yesterday, the bigger ones are just being way more aggressive chasing those rattle baits. It's awesome. Woo! There he is. I dropped it and he grabbed it. He hit it on the drop. This is actually not the first one. That's the second one. Look at that thing. Just inhaled it. Wall. Another beautiful wall I hear. Just moving spots here. But this is just cool. Crystal clear. Little, little bit of cloud on the left side. But look at out here. You can just see straight to the bottom. I'm only walking in about a foot of water on my left side. And then... Actually about six, eight feet that way, it's probably like 16 feet. So I'm just following this shoreline. I'm uh, moving off to another spot here. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna run and gun here, try some different points, different shoreline structure, and uh, see what we can catch out here. I've seen a couple fish darting in and out. Here's a nice uh, drop here, you can see the Nice cobbly rock into uh, deeper water here. A little bit of sand. Not not bad, but uh, I'm gonna keep going past this spot. Not really what I'm looking for. I don't know if you can see it. Look at all the bait fish. Tons of bait fish here scooting out from under me. And they're hiding out in the shadows here behind this big uh, this big cliff here. Not hanging out in the sunlight. See the water levels already dropped too. The ice is starting to sink down. That's usually what happens later in the season, but uh, the water's been pumping out of this lake pretty heavy lately. They do have a power generating dam on the one end of it. Anybody uh, lose a bottom bouncer right here? I don't know if you can see that. Or is that a jig head? It's a jig head. <laughs> I actually just saw a walleye dart out of here too. It's only like two, three feet, but it's full of uh, little shiners and stuff. And uh, he must have been up shallow chasing them. Pretty cool. So I just stopped at, uh, I'm actually dead center of another, another coolie here. And uh, I'm just gonna try right here. You can see, I've got the graft just in the sleigh and uh, I'm gonna fish out the same hole with the deucer right now. Just kind of scouting around, but uh, you can see 12 and a half feet there, but I'm right, right next to the, the big drop there. So if I go that way, it's shallow is in forward mode right now 
kit coming back around see the opposite edge there uh, tapers right down to about 28 30 feet but uh, i'm sitting on that 14 foot mark now okay i actually uh i found like a mid lake hump here and uh it looks really nice but i can actually see a bunch of fish see them moving over here so 12 feet out from me at about 10 to 16 feet down you can see that steep drop there right there see that fish moving so I just got to get I've seen a few crews in that contour there so I'm just gonna get over to that and we're gonna try right there here we're gonna try here I went a little past it I'm in 24 it's obviously a really steep drop so I drill a hole about halfway in between where I just did but I'm gonna fish this for a few minutes and see if anything comes out of here Here comes a fish. Got him. Okay, let's get that transducer out of here. He's not big. But we really keyed in on those fish. I marked another one at the same time there. There we go. Just really pinpointing that structure and working it with rattle baits. That's another, uh, you know, 19, 21 inch walleye, but uh, hey, that's, uh, that's awesome. We're going to fish this for a little bit longer here. I was marking another one. The second one came in on the graph as this one was chasing me, but this fish was super aggressive and he just came up and smacked this thing. Didn't even hesitate, but uh, check that out. Oh, that's too cool. So much fun moving around searching new areas and just checking for for big fish there's there's gonna be a big fish out this way there's no pressure out here just hasn't been fished at all since open water so and there's more ice here than where i was fishing earlier there's another fish on the graph right now if i can get down there there's two or three of them actually got him another one just came in charged up and grabbed it there we go so I actually just drilled a hole you can see my old hole right there I've been marking a lot of fish at that 16 foot depth there and uh, another another nice little walleye this one's really dark gold colors beautiful fish just inhaled the rattle bait let's get a few more You see on the graph there, surrounded by a bunch of uh, boulders and everything. And uh, how I found that was actually just walking through the, the coulee over here. And in the center of the coulee, there was a, a higher point, like a big plateau. And uh, there was a bunch of boulders on it. So I just followed it out deeper and ended up where we are right now. Found the transition into the deep water. And that's what I'm fishing. And uh, it's holding fish for sure. I'm actually thinking I might put the fooler out here. I'll put that in the deeper hole at about 20 feet and I'll sit here and jig in 16. Got him. Another one. Get this deucer out of here, that's the only thing. Inhale the rattle bait. As soon as I marked him, well, another little guy, but uh, just super aggressive, came in and smashed that rattle bait. Super healthy fish, super aggressive, tons of fun. This might be worthy of drilling a second hole and fishing this for a little while. Got him. So I just switched up from the rattle bait to uh, the spoon just uh, found the fish now with the rattle bait and you know I'll just kind of set up the live scope here and everything now a couple other cameras and just gonna get to jigging the spot for a while because there are a bunch of fish here this guy is no giant but uh, you know first drop with the rattle spoon and uh, pick that guy up there's another one sauger there check out the colors on that sauger 
dark, lots of uh, pronounced spots. Pretty nice looking fish. Another, you know, small eater size, but uh, hey, getting it done at this new spot here. It's lots of fun. Well, just hooked up with a little bit better one. Didn't get the hook set on camera. And just like that, we're back. Look at you smash that rattle bait. It's been uh, dead for about an hour or so, but uh, all of a sudden the graph just started lighting up and there's fish all over the place. So we're gonna put some more time in here and see what we can get. Just a real nice walleye inhaled that rattle bait and uh, yeah, looking for some more. Diefenbaker can be a funny place for walleyes. It's, uh, you know, early season's really good for numbers and uh, it can get pretty stale later in the season. The one funny thing is in a spot where you're crushing fish one day, uh, they move around so much in here that they're just not there the next day. So you constantly have to move and change your spots. There's definitely good fishing spots that do frequent a lot of walleyes, but uh, generally they're always on the move here. You know, you crush them at one point the next day they're just not there so it's always a game out here of chasing them and finding where they're at that day most of these fish on Diefenbaker you find on these sharp drop-offs and and you just need to find that right contour that they're they're using on those drop-offs you know today I'm in 16 feet there just seems to be a lot of fish cruising up that 16 foot contour and then there's also some that cruise out of the extremely deep water up into the shallow water in this coulee here to feed so you're just constantly pinpointing new locations and uh finding active fish and the, the best way to stay on them on Diefenbaker is just to keep moving all the time until you get on them. That's that's the key thing about Diefenbaker is just don't get stale and fish the same spot over and over. You just got to move day to day until you figure them out. Got him. A little bit better. Now well, around that same, same size. Another super aggressive walleye. This thing just darted in out of nowhere and took a swipe at it and missed it and uh, I pulled it up in the water column above him he chased it up took a second swipe and missed it and then uh, slowly raised it up on him and he came in and hit it look at that fish they're just built really nice out here real nice fish gonna get him back and uh, hopefully get some more action like that that's just so cool watching him come in super aggressive like that and take that rattle bait so the way I'm working this rattle bait is uh, when there's nothing around, I can see on the live scope, you know, there's no fish coming in from left or right. Obviously you can't see the other direction all the time, but uh, you can see a little bit in the foreground and, and the off there. But uh, so the way I'm fishing these rattle baits is when there's nothing around, I can see there's no fish around. I'm really just giving it some solid rips. I want to hear those rattles. I can hear it rattling actually above the water. You know, it's down there 16 feet and uh, I just want to get that rattle doing its job and uh, get that bait vibrating through the water column. You know, kind of call out there and search around for some fish. So when I do get a fish interested, I can see their mannerisms on the live scope, which is really good about using the live scope. You can see how those fish are acting and what exactly they're, they're doing. Um, so if I do see a fish coming in for it super hard and fast, I'm going to just slowly raise it up and uh, Sometimes I'll just slowly lift it with no twitches and other times I'll just slowly twitch it and lift it at the same time. So that's one method of doing it. The other method is um, dropping it straight down into the dirt and I'm just going to pop it into the dirt and just smash around in the, in the bottom there. And uh, what I'll do is I'll try to get these fish to work up off the bottom. Usually a fish down near the bottom, if they're not going to pick it up when you drop it in the dirt and pop it around a little bit, they're a little stale. So you want to get them moving. So try to bring them up off the bottom. So you're just going to slow pop it up. And then you want to see that fish start to raise up on your graph. Once he starts engaging with that bait, you see him start coming up towards your bait. Then you're just going to slow twitch, but just keep moving it away at a constant pace. Not, uh, not super fast. If you start gaining on him, getting ahead of him too much, then just slowly twitch it until he starts getting interested and, and swimming up for it. And then, uh, you know, if he comes up, swipes at it and misses, you're going to drop the bait back past him. Try to get him to chase it down. If he doesn't chase it down, you're going to bring it back up to his level and try to bring it above his eyes. They see, they can see way better up than they can down. So 
if you can bring it up past his eyes and get his attention again then try to get him back up there and chasing that bait up in the column um, that is the key ways of working this rattle bait is just multiple different ways of doing it you just have to choose when you use what method at what time and having a live scope or any sort of live imaging actually really aids with that because you can actually see what that fish is doing it's not like a, a normal 2d graph where you're just you're like well there's a fish there i don't know which way he's facing or what he's doing but uh, i'm just going to give it slow twitches here or you know you can see him coming up off the bottom but uh is is he chasing your bait or is he chasing something else or you don't really know what's going on you can't really see those mannerisms of that fish that's why having live imaging is super super helpful but uh that's the methods that I use to fish these rattle baits and try to get fish to key in on them and uh, get a nice fun strike out of them when they chase it up the call. That fish just knows my bait. Come on, that was a big fish too. Oh man. Look at this school of walleyes. There's just fish everywhere on the graph right now, but there's a big school of walleyes coming in on the left side out deep right now. Hard to say what these other ones up high in the column are. They could be walleyes chasing my bait down. Could be walleyes, could be whitefish, could be gold eyes. Come on. Got him. Oh yeah, here we go. Nice fish, nice fish. This fish came in and smashed the rattle bait. Check out that fish. He came in and swiped at the rattle bait and then totally missed it and took off and I thought he was gone and then he came right back and uh, chased it up in the column and smacked it. Got a good hook set on him and uh, yeah, what a good little fight. Get him back and uh, man, we're just getting up to about prime time here. I, uh, I can't wait to see what this spot has for the evening. Two fish just charged in. Come on, eat that, eat that bait, come on. There he is. Got him. Two of them charged in. This one was the one that was super interested and came in and grabbed that bait. It's a nice walleye. It's not giant, but it's a 19, 18, barely hooked. Ah! <laughs> no. Oh well. There he is, finally. Man, I messed with that fish for a while. Not bad. Not, uh, not bad, not bad. I've seen a lot of fish move in in the last few minutes here. This one, I don't know if it's the same one. I just had one come in and chase me up and down four times. This one chased me up and down twice. Another nice walleye. Man, just uh, a lot of fun out here. And uh, just, it's starting to heat up. Hopefully we're gonna uh, get into them real good here. This is a great spot and uh, it hasn't been fished this year. To let this guy go and uh, get another one. All right, I'll try this again. There, got him this time. Little walleye. Look at this coyote. Look at this coyote right here. Mangy coyote. It's a little walleye. Let him go. Got him. Little head shakes. Oh, what happened there? Nice walleye. They're just getting active as it's just about to get dark here. The guy was screaming along the bottom. I dropped that rattle bait into the dirt and raised it up and he came out and smashed it. Well, that guy just was screaming along the bottom and I dropped it into the dirt and he came up and chased it as I brought it up the water column. Just smacked it hard and uh, that was pretty cool. So was that coyote. That coyote, uh, he was he was in a bad way. He was uh, 
pretty mangy. I don't know if you could see it on the video, but uh, he came right up to me. He didn't know what was going on. Come on. Got him. Nice. No. <laughs> it's a wall. <laughs> I was going to be mad if that was another burbot. Another nice walleye. Chased up the rattle bait and smashed it. Just a lot of fun. Starting to get dark here though. Running out of uh, good light, that's for sure. Oh, I'm gonna pack up with a bit of bit of light left. I got a uh, little bit of a walk back, so best to do it with some some daylight. Getting dark. Try to get back before it gets too late here. Get a walleye right there. There he goes. Ah, I see his eye glowing. Bunch of walleyes at this spot right here. Almost back. I've probably kicked three or four walleyes out of the shallows here. There's another one right there. There he goes. I don't know if you can see him there, but here he's out there now. We got right there. There's it's not a walleye. I don't know what that is. That's a walleye. <laughs> 